Hi, good morning. I am here once again to answer our assignment for business enterprise subject with the following question. Question number one is to enumerate and briefly elaborate the problems with MRP system. And what are the problems with MRP system? First one is called the integrity of data. If this if there are any errors in the inventory data, the bill of materials data, or the master production schedule, then the output data will be also incorrect. Data integrity is also affected by inaccurate cycle count, adjustments mistakes in receiving input and shipping output, scrap not reported, waste damage, the box count errors, supplier container errors, the count errors, the production reporting errors, and system issues. Many of these types of errors can be minimized by implementing pool system and using a barcode scanning. Most vendors in this type of system recommend at least 99% of data integrity for the, for the system to give useful results. The second one is called system requires that the user specify how long will it take the factory to make a production from its component parts, assuming that they are all available. Additionally, the system design also assumes that this lead time in manufacturing will be the same each time the item is made. Without regard to quantities being made or other items being made simultaneously in the factory, a manufacturer may have factories in different cities or even other countries. It is not good for an MRP system to say that we do not need to order some materials because we have plenty of thousands of miles away. The overall ERP system needs to be able to organize inventory and needs by individual inventory, individual factory, and intercommunicate the needs to enable each factory to redistribute components to serve the overall enterprise. This means that the other systems in the enterprise need to work both for implementing with an MRP systems and in the future. For example, systems like variety reductions and engineering which make sure that the production comes out right first without defects must be in place. The next one is called the production may be in progress for some part whose designs gets changed with customers orders in the systems for both the old designs and the new one concurrently. The overall ERP system needs to have a system of coding such that MRP will correctly calculate needs and tracking for both vendors. Parts must be booked into and out of stores more regularly than the MRP calculations take place. Note, these, these other systems can, can well be manual systems, but must be interfaced to the MRP. For example, a walk around, stop, intake, then just prior to the MRP calculations can be a practical solution for a small inventory, especially if it is an open store. The next one or the last one will be the other major drawback of MRP is that it fails to account for capacity in its calculation. This means it will give results that are impossible to implement due to manpower machine or supplier capacity constraint. However, this is largely dealt with MRP2. Generally, MRP2 refers to a system with integrated financials, and MRP2 systems can include finite or infinite capacity planning. But to be considered a true MRP2 system must be also include financials in the MRP2 a concept fluctuations in forecast data are taken account by including simulation of the master production schedule, thus creating a long-term control. A more general features of MRP2 is an extension to purchasing, to marketing, and to finance the integrations of all the functions of the company. ERP has been the next step. So those are the possible problems of MRP systems, while when there is a problem, of course, there is always a solution. And what are the solutions? Which will be our number two assignment, where we are being asked what are the solutions to data integrity issues, and please explain. So here are the following solutions to the data integrity issues. First is the bill of materials. The best practice is to physically verify the bill of material either at the production site or by dissembling the product. 
Second, the cycle count. The best practice is to determine why a cycle count that increase or decrease inventory has occurred. Find the root cause and correct the problem from occurring again. The next one is the scrap reporting. This can be most difficult area to maintain with any integrity. Start with isolating the scrap by providing scrap bins at the production site and then record the scrap from the bins daily. One's benefit of reviewing the scrap on this site is the preventive action can be taken by the engineering group. Next is the receiving errors. Manual systems of recording what has been received are error prone. The best practice is to implement the system of receiving ASM from the supplier. The supplier sends an ASN or the advanced shipping notifications, and when the components are received into the facility, the ASN is processed and then the company labels are created for each line item. The, labor, the labels are affixed to each container and then scanned into the MRP system. Extra labels reveal a shortage from the shipment, and too few labels reveal an overshipment. Some companies pay for ASN reducing the time in processing accounts payable. The next one is the shipping errors. The container labels are printed from the shipper. The labels are affixed to the containers in a staging area or when they are loaded on the transport. Next is the production reporting. The best practice is to use the barcode scanning to enter production into the inventory. Then a product that is rejected should be moved to an MRB or Material Review Board location. Containers that require sorting need to be received in reverse. Next one or the final one is called the replenishment. The best replenishment practice is replacement using barcode scanning or by a pool system. Depending upon the complexity, complexity of the product, flutters can actually order materials using scanning with a minimum maximum system. And that is our assignment for laboratory number six for business enterprise subject until our next laboratory. Have a great day ahead.